you know how people say, what, would you rather be feared, loved, and feared? feared? Bronx tail. Yeah. I know the real answer. I don't got to guess. Because I was so loved, you had to fear me. Mm. And the fear wasn't a physical fear. It was a fear of disappointment. Because I loved you so much that I gave you something that you wasn't getting. And you feared being disappointing because the standards for you were set different than you ever had in a prison system. Because you had somebody that was holding you accountable in a prison system. Mm. You can't read? Hey, man, what you, what you talking about? Oh, yeah, you'll be, you got, you'll be able to read in about six months. I oh, will make sure you read. Man, I ain't nothing. Because you're going go, to gonna go get a GED. You're going to go to school. You ain't just going to be in here working. You're going to go to school. Man, nah, bro, for real. Let's, 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 let's talk about how much sense this makes. Do you plan on going home? So when somebody is kind of talking to you about your ideologies, how you, how you think. Yeah. And so this is the thing where I'm saying, when I'm saying about focusing on the problem, you already know the problem, what's the solution? Because it used to be a lot of dudes, man, these folks in here ain't going to let us do shit. But what you trying to do? Man, I, man, it just anything we just, but what is the anything? God damn it. You know what I'm saying? What is the anything? So when when once you identify anything, let's see how we can get the anything. Ali, this'll never happen. What'll never happen? Hmm. Let me tell you the most incredible thing that ever happened that somebody said that would not happen. What was you doing during the Million Man March? Damn. That was that 94? I was there. Yeah, you was there. I was there. In 94, you there, right? No, where was I? I was in, oh, I was in Chicago. I was in Chicago, 94. I was in Chicago. I was in Chicago. So 1994, I'm in prison. Can't participate in the Million Man March. I watched it. Yeah. Now, I'm up thinking, how can we show solidarity on this unit because we can't be there, but we going to do this in unison with what's happening there. Date is October, right? Mm -hmm. 16th. Yeah. Born October 17th. Mm. I'm very focused on this shit. Mm. I start campaigning from building to building. Hey, y'all listen. And I'm talking about Coming to you directly, mm. not sending word and shit like that. Coming you directly, yeah. Hey man, listen, Million Man March. We planning on nobody going to eat in the cafeteria for none of the meals. Don't worry about it. We gonna feed everybody breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We'll we'll do it on the block. Man, hey bro, I'm telling you, we gonna we gonna fuck with. You. Enough influence to get it going to where it's the mandate on the unit. Nobody black is eating in that cafeteria. I explained what it was going to do, how it's going to tilt the scale, and what we was going to do because this is the Million Man March, and this will always be burnt in your heart what we did together on this unit. So it it. The day comes. Yeah. Breakfast. I walk out on the rec yard and I just stood there to see was anybody coming out those buildings that was black. Nobody came out the building. And that was the first time that anybody had ever seen me in prison ever shed one tear. Because that shit was important to me. And what was the craziest thing? It's on my children's life. When them boys came in from the field, they was in the field, mm -hmm. and everybody was already cooking on the on the block. So when they came in, they would have something to eat. This is when I knew in my heart of hearts that this shit was gonna work. The administration had heard about it. 
And this is on my kids. Like, I had already known, because my boy works in the kitchen, that particular day, they was having spaghetti, which was going to be an easy run. I can influence you, not going to eat spaghetti. But they changed the fucking thing to fried chicken. And it's not because of the blackness of it. This is the only time that you get an actual whole piece of chicken. Man. You know what I'm saying? Because everything else is fucking chopped up and all this yeah, other yeah, mess shit. So I'm saying, oh shit. They trying to sabotage it with enticing them to shit. come get that. Mm -hmm. And I said, I knew this shit was going to work. So i never forget this, this Muslim brother named Halim. He worked in the kitchen. And he was one of the people that was frying the chicken. And he got back to the block. And he said, oh, shit, shit burning. My shit burning. And he had a bag and had all this fried chicken. And he, I said, Halim, he said, you said don't eat it in there. You didn't say don't eat it in there. <laughs> so, so, that's <laughs> He was taking it out of the kitchen when he left. <laughs> and, but that cost the that cost the prison a lot of money because they had to throw that food away. Shit. And I remember, powerful thing. Mm. The Mexicans came to me and said, "Hey, next time y'all do that, we'll do it with y'all." Mm. So the impossible. Can happen when you think of, when you think about it and you strategize on it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it.